idea how excited I am right now. I'm finally on the road, getting headed out of town. It's uh, March the 15th, 2019. We're headed down to deep southwest Arkansas to do some uh, hog hunting with my good buddy Dwayne Hayes on the uh, banks of the Red River. We're going to let it smack down on some pigs this weekend. Uh, this trip has been in the making for a whole lot longer than what I even care to admit. Uh, life has sure got in the way these past few years and I have had very few trips to the woods with these hounds. Uh, Dwayne's had them out more than I have. But uh, <clears throat> last year or so has been worked out pretty good. I've been uh, working out in Georgia and I've had it where I can take care of them and, and got to hunt them very little out there but got to hunt them a little bit. And uh, I'm ready to get back down here into our old, our old hog hunting grounds and, uh, and get them some work in. We've got some of the best dogs that we've ever had. Uh, they would probably make a liar out of us this weekend. I don't know that they've been out of the box any this year. Um, but we're going to give them a try and see if we can't chase some of them down. More than anything, I look forward to having a good time. Uh, there's nothing I like better than being out in the woods with my friends and my hounds and enjoying the things that we love and uh, doing what God meant for us to do. And that's chase things down, kill it neat. Stay tuned. I look forward to sharing this with you. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. So like I said, I had a little quick pit stop we're heading to make as we head on down to hog hunting camp. We made it here to our quick stop. Oh yeah. We'll go in here and pick up a few things and get back on the road. So I've been to a bunch of these Bass Pro Shops all over the country. Um, I grew up in North Arkansas, so I spent a lot of my childhood back and forth to Springfield, to the to the Granddaddy Mall, the very first one up there. And I watched that store evolve into what it is now from just a, a little old store, not half the size of a good Walmart, with one big aquarium. And then if you've ever been in there, you know what I'm talking about now, but these new these new stores that they've popped up all over the place are, are really neat uh, because they a lot of times they're kind of themed to the area that they put them into and the entranceway to this one here south of Little Rock is really cool of course the uh, Arkansas is famous for the it's Razorbacks right and obviously it's no coincidence that we're going hog hunting this weekend but when you first walk into this store, when you walk into the store, I'll show you what I'm talking about. The first thing you meet when you walk through the doors is some Razorback Hog. It's such a cool place. Let's we'll see if we can find what we're looking for. So I didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find some stuff I wanted. Um, something else I wanted to show you guys, for you men out there, I've got an anniversary coming up next week. And something that my wife and I do that we have a lot of fun with is we try to give each other the traditional anniversary gifts. And this is our six year anniversary coming up. so. The, this year's traditional gift is iron and candy. I've got a really cool gift that I hadn't picked up yet that I hope to be able to show y'all. But while I'm here, I might as well get the candy. Because they got it all. One thing she's a big fan of is cotton candy. I seen some over here a minute ago. But uh, it's super simple it's a lot of fun uh, you can get as serious about it or as silly about it as you want but just google it look up traditional uh, anniversary gifts and each year it's something different so that was pretty cool good little stop in there the uh, the door greeter was Steve the wild man Wilson I 
know if y'all, anybody from the state of Arkansas that's watching this, familiar with Steve the Wild Mountain Wilson, worked for, he said, 37 years at the Game and Fish Commission, promoting uh, being in the outdoors in Arkansas, hunting and fishing and everything outdoors related. He's got a radio show that is uh, syndicated here statewide, and uh, he's done a lot for the outdoors and conservation here in the state. And uh, he said he recently retired and he worked part-time as a door greeter at Bass Pro. So thank you, Steve the Wild Man Wilson. We appreciate everything you've done for the great state of Arkansas and we hope you enjoy your retirement. to Saturday we're getting ready to uh, pack everything up and get out here and, and uh, get ready to head out to the hunting spot this morning stop and get us a bite to eat <clears throat> got in here yesterday evening just before dark and got everything kind of put away and didn't didn't get a chance to do any filming or anything last night just got got busy getting settled in and and uh, visiting and, and, and catching up on old times but uh, Everything's just like I remembered it. Uh, it's just an old farmhouse, and, and uh, I'm just thankful to get to be here. Um, like I say, we're gonna get everything packed up this morning. It's uh, it's quite an undertaking to get all these dogs and equipment and everything loaded up and sorted out and organized. <coughs> uh, GPS collars and, and, and guns and knives and dogs and four-wheelers and, and now cameras and so uh, uh, next time you see us, we'll be in the woods. Sounded piggy, didn't it? That's it. <laughs> that didn't take long. I believe that'll be a good one too. What do you think? 
We'll know here in just a minute, won't we? Yep. Be a good warm up for that bulldog, too. <coughs> Get her lasered in. I mean, we rode forward within 150 yards of him. He needs that stick, that brake stick. Get out. All right, get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, Y'all aren't making this easier. Go on. Get out. Go on. Get out. Go on. Get out. Go. That's a dandy. Well, that worked out pretty 
good. We're gonna ease around, try to find some more sign. Most of the time on them boar hogs like that, they just be one by themselves. So we kind of got this area poked out. We're gonna ease down the road a little bit, try to find some more sign. Turn place again. That's really good work for the dogs. Try right straight out of the box. Get on one that fast. That's a good hog too. So we'll keep hunting. See if we can't find. It. This may not seem like hunting to some folks, but it's effective. You get down here on these roads and, and ride around, look for sign. And, you know, look in the road ditches and whatnot. And you find find a little bit of fresh sign that you can put these dogs into. You can <laughs> be pretty successful. But they'll do the work for you. But you got to get them started. You got to find them a place to go. You ride around on these deer leases down here in South Arkansas, looking, riding up down these roads, looking in the road ditch and stuff like that, fresh signs, tracks, rooting, you know, droppings, whatever. When you find that, if you've got these dogs, give them a chance to do their job, and they will. Well, so far no luck on this last little spot. We've come in here in this thicket, walk these dogs in here a little bit, see if they can't come up with something. It's getting pretty late in the day, it's getting pretty hot. So I would bet that we're about done for the day. Of course, I've thought that for the last <laughs> couple hours, we just keep, keep finding a little bit here, a little bit there, and keep trying it, but it's getting awful late in the day. So we, uh, we may come back to this spot first thing in the morning. There's definitely a bunch of hogs in here. Uh, the way they had that field rooted up, they're gonna be back. So uh, we'll see what the rest of the day holds and what tomorrow holds. I'd like to get a couple more, throw something in the cooler, drag home with us. So we'll see how it goes. Y'all follow along, stay tuned. It's the last day. 
We're getting ready to uh, pack up and head out this morning. We we'll go back to some of the areas where we found the most sign yesterday, and see if we can't pick up some of those hogs that uh, we left behind. Um, there was a couple of spots yesterday that we found decent sign and spots that have produced hogs in the past. So that's where we're headed. Uh, Dwayne's on his way over, getting ready to load the trucks, load the dogs, and uh, hit the woods. We will see you there. Here we go. Got everything loaded up, collared up. Got a game plan. We've got a little bit of a ride this morning to get over there where we're going to start. We're going to ride over there. A little bit pressed this morning. But uh, should be good. We're going to ride here for a minute, get to our spot, and then uh, we'll come back and see if we have any luck. Follow along. Got them kicked out, and they are stroking back in here, right here where we found all that sign yesterday. Drove them down in here, and the dog started flipping out right here on the four wheelers. So we just turn them loose. They are doing their thing. How deep are they? Five twenty-five, five fifty. I'm guessing they'll be scattered all over the world before we get back in there. <laughs> as many different dogs as there is. Maybe they'll all bunch up. I feel like we'll have to go around though, one way or the other. We'll see. This is where it starts getting fun. Dogs are doing their thing. We've got a really good race going on. They're getting pretty deep. Last time we checked them on our GPS, they were 900 yards from where we dropped them out. <clears throat> so now we got to use our, our GPS maps and knowledge of this place to see if we can't get closer to them. Uh, there was a bunch of sign in there yesterday, and it was just it was just got too late in the day for the dog to figure it out. But uh, we knew it'd be fresh this morning. Sure enough, we pulled down in there on four wheelers. The dogs went sound off. And they were, it, it was good. They could smell them, everything was perfect. So, uh, hopefully, we can get a little closer. And uh, maybe by the time we get down here, they'll be made. That's the plan. We'll see what we got going on. Golly. Everything in here's got a briar on it. Everything in here's got a briar on it. I'd turn her loose, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
head. <laughs> I would have lost my sunglasses going through there. Did you lose them? Yeah, I don't know how I would have. <laughs> Man, that's terrible. <laughs> hey. Whew. Well, there's one. That's two this morning. So apparently the spot we picked out was a good one. As we're coming out with the other one, we found this one. And we're allowed to find another one. So we're gonna keep getting out of here and see if we can't find some more. That's what it's all about. Well, we had some technical difficulties with the chest camera back there. I was unable to get much of that dog action on camera, but um, we got way back in there in that swamp with the little sow that they caught, got it killed, and kind of hung out in there as we was trying to drag it out, knowing that there'd probably be another laying in there somewhere. There's a lot of sign in there. It's thick, nasty. That's where they like to live. Sure enough, that, uh, that blue cur dog with the Dwayne's found one laying there hiding. But we walked right by him going in, and we were, we wasn't 40 yards from him, less than 40 yards when the dogs found him. So that's just, that's just the way they do in these big old thick pine, pine plantations like this. They get thick and they lay tight. There are lots of hogs in here. The guys that we met this morning said that they seen 13 of them in the field last night. Well, there's only 11 of them left now. So uh, we're gonna go down here to the creek, look for a little more sign this hog gutted and uh, continue continue the search see if we can't find some more pigs so two so far this morning one yesterday uh, not so bad too far so far so let's see if we can get some more so we talked to the landowners here just a minute ago and they shot at some hogs right here in the corner of this field just 30 minutes ago there's a big trail going in the woods right there where the wane's at. Get a little action. I believe they've warmed it up. <clears throat> That's a pretty good set of dogs, Dwayne. We've stomped a lot of miles behind a whole lot less. We're working on the third one now. We uh, actually talked to these guys out here a minute ago and uh, ended up getting a little bit of gasoline from them. So we're following our uh, trail back down to the woods. They said they seen some hogs out in this field. So we turned loose and they struck. And uh, they basically ran right back in there where we killed this little sow this morning. Uh, they're pretty deep now, about, I don't know, a little over half a mile back in here. Uh, they're just still running. So we're gonna try to get closer if we can't hear them. Hopefully they'll get it stopped here in a little bit. The guy said that they shot at the big sow with a bunch of baby pigs. If they're running the baby pigs, that's bad. If they'll be on that big sow, that'll be a good deal. We'll have some luck with that. So You'll see the clear cut changes, which the bad part about this is, is all through it, you cannot believe how much water is down in here. I mean, I waded water around out there when I went 
over in there for a quarter of a mile waist deep. That's not good. It was so nasty out there. They wouldn't catch that hog. And I didn't have anything to, I didn't take a bulldog. Well, me. if you look here, you can see all that water right there, mm -hmm. that deep water. If we go down, yeah, we can kind of go around There's it. But that's a ditch right there. Right there. I think we might as well go back up here to this road and go see how far it goes down in there. The snorkel road? Yep. Okay. It won't hurt to look. Mm -mm. We're just going to stay in the middle anyway. Well, they ain't bade, so. They are back to this side of the creek. <laughs> You think they're quitting it? I kind of hate that they got in here close and they actually bait it and then they quit it. But if they do, they do, you know. Guys, that's it. We've had a great weekend. We killed three hogs, ran a fourth one. Uh, the dogs ran that hog for about three hours. Bayed down there in a really nasty place. We just couldn't get to them. By the time we figured out a game plan to go around, it broke. And when it broke, they lost it. They just they out of gas. So hats off to the hog. Hats off to the dogs. They done a great job. Uh, we've had, like I said, a great time. Killed some hogs. Made some memories. Uh, can't wait to come back. Enjoy more time down here with my friends. Chasing these old wild hogs. Nothing I like better in this world than doing that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope to have more available soon on lots of different things. So uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, you know, hit that little bell so that you get the notifications. And uh, we hope to bring you more excellent content very soon. So from everybody here at Hog Wild Outdoors, we appreciate you watching. And we'll talk to you soon.